I will juggle these knives. Where will you go? What will you do? I don't know, but if we run away from who we are, we'll miss out on what we could become. Will you please take this seriously? I'm sorry, but should I be as pretentious as this writer? You are as pretentious as this writer. Maybe you should be a comedian. I gotta start your makeup. Did I ever tell you how Johnny... John Cochran saw you perform? Yes. Johnny Carson. Cochran was a magician in his own right. He said I was the next Blackstone. One of the best acts he'd ever seen. Well, if he's such a big deal, why don't you call him and ask for a favor? Because he's dead. Oh. And I don't need favors. Five minutes, Trumbo. Fetch me my cloak. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Great Trumbull. Tonight's performance will be magnificent. I promise you a show that you will never forget. And to assist me with my first illusion tonight is the lovely Cassie. Fear of mystery that surrounds us all almost has no gravity whatsoever, no mind at all. Watch. pull of the orb draws me hints and there truly is weightless as time itself show if they won't even watch. Patty's office, now. You ring? Sit down. Ah, uh, the predictable Patty. Always in your office. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to get out of here once in a while. These performances are getting worse by the day. How can I reach an audience that's more interested in watching a bunch of hussies flail their legs around? Well, well then, Baldy, I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is I'm finally getting something out of this money pit. Sold it off. Franklin and Mitchell. They're going to do it up real nice. Only they're bringing in their own crew to oil this machine. And for some godforsaken reason, my crackpot of a father put a clause into your contract that sticks you with this theatre. 
So congratulations. You're the only magician in the world with tenure. Wait, what? That's right. In his senility, I guess he saw you as the son he never had. To top it off, he always considered magic to be a lost art. Quite frankly, I never saw what the hell he ever saw in that crap. Or you, for that matter. So will I be keeping the same schedule? Even better. You'll be getting way more time in the theater, working the concessions. What? Concessions? Concessions? This is an outrage. I am a trained magician. Oh, oh settle down there, Baldy. You should be thanking me. You're getting a steady pay for a job you don't deserve. This is unbelievable. So what's the bad news? I'll still have to see you every day. <laughs> <laughs> We're done at the end of the week. Your last show is tomorrow night. <laughs>
I think you should go. Out! Make it quick, Baldy. I wanted to invite you to my show tomorrow. It'll be my last show. I don't watch shows. I understand, but I thought maybe you would make an exception just this once. It's my last show. No. It would really mean a lot to me, Patty, and you used to come watch me perform occasionally. Mm. Well, you used to be good. I know we've had our differences in the past, Patty, but I want you to know that I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Why are you kissing my ass all of a sudden? I just realized that no one around here thanks you. And I think it's about time we do. Well, all right. Oh, and Baldy, try not to disappoint for once. Rough night? It had its ups and downs. I figured you wouldn't show. Had some last minute adjustments to make. I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> so this is it? It appears so. Trumby, I'm really... Listen, Cassie. No need. You were right. About a lot of things. Really? I am a pretentious asshole. <sighs> I think I said... hypocritical asshole? That too. I know. But you know, you were right about some things too. You're not washed up. I mean, you're amazing. You're the great Trumbolt. Five minutes, Trumbolt. Thank you. Listen, Cassie, I'm doing a new trick tonight. So just follow my lead. Everything should be fine. Wait, what? You can't just say that and leave. All right then. Ladies and gentlemen, doesn't my assistant Cassie look lovely tonight? I tell you what, let's try something a little different, shall we? Let's try and spruce things up a bit. Are you ready, Cassie? And... Ladies and gentlemen, give her a big round of applause, Cassie. Come on. Folks, as you may have heard, this will be my last show as this theater is closing at the end of the week. But I would be remiss if I didn't leave you with something spectacular. What you see before you appears to be a normal door. But to the contrary, this door is a very special door. It's a door that's able to transport me and only me to anywhere my mind desires. Cassie, would you do the honors?
Isn't she lovely, folks? <laughs> Come on, Peg. As I said, the door can only transport me. Hmm. Perhaps I'll go someplace tropical. My friends, magicians are a lot like thieves. We prey on your lack of attention. We use various distractions to cloud your perception. Whether it's a grand illusion or a simple friendly gesture. The plan is always in the works. We learn to take in every observation and while you take things for granted, we use them for our advantage. Predictability, it's a thief's greatest weapon. I hope I didn't disappoint for once.